Hi friends, today we will be talking about another class of biomolecules that is lipids. Chemically speaking, lipids are also made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The difference being that their H is to O ratio is not equal to 2 is to 1 which we saw was for carbohydrates. The H is to O ratio is much much greater than 2 is to 1. They have very less amount of oxygen. Lipids, they are known for performing various functions. Like we know fats and oils, they are the major storehouse of the energy, which we commonly call as triacylglycerol. So all organisms, most of the organisms, they use these as the storage forms of energy. Phospholipids and sterols, they are known for being the structural members of all biological membranes. We know these lipids, they also perform various other functions, like they act as enzyme cofactors, they act as hormones, they act as emulsifying agents in the digestive tract, they act as electron carriers, they act as light capturing pigments. These lipids, they also help in anchoring the proteins to the membrane. They help in the folding of these uh, proteins in a proper manner in the form of chaperons. So lipids, they perform a wide variety of functions. They also act as intracellular messengers. They act as insulators. The layer of these lipids, it protects our vital organs. So the list goes on. This chemically diverse group of compounds is per not only performs different functions, but is also chemically diverse. One common feature which defines all these lipids is their insolubility in water. They are not the polymers of the monomers, like we saw proteins were the polymers of amino acids, the polysaccharides were the polymers of monosaccharides. These definitions do not hold for lipids. One common defining feature is insolubility in water. So insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents like chloroform, benzene, ether, this defines our lipids. For classification, for general purpose classification, lipids are classified into three major classes. We classify them as simple lipids, those which are esters of fatty acids with uh, alcohol, they are called as simple lipids. Like we call, talk about triglycerols or triacylglycerol or triglycerides, these are esters of fatty acids, three fatty acids esterified to glycerol forms a triglyceride. You have another simple lipid that is wax. A long chain fatty acid esterified to another long chain alcohol uh, is not glycerol so that is what is called as a wax. Another class of lipids is your compound lipids. They have elements other than these other than fatty acids and alcohols. They have nitrogen, they may have phosphorus, they may have sugars, they may have proteins to mention like we have phospholipids which contain phosphorus. We have glycolipids which contain sugar molecules. You have lipoproteins which have proteins and a combination of lipids. We have what are called as your derived lipids. These are the hydrolytic products of the simple and the compound lipids. So these what we call as derived lipids. It includes various molecules like you have carotenoids. Then we have uh, what is called as your steroids. So steroids, we can say that they are uh, four interlocking carbon rings which are present. Three are six-membered carbon rings and one is a five-membered carbon ring that forms a steroid. One alcohol derivative of this steroid which is famous is your cholesterol. Similarly, in this class, you have various bile salts, you have various sex hormones. So this forms the class of your lipids. So lipids classified as simple lipids, compound lipids and derived lipids. So let us have a deeper look into these. Fatty acids are the long chain hydrocarbons with the carboxyl group at the end. Thus, they have a polar end represented by the carboxyl terminal and a long non-polar hydrocarbon chain. They may be saturated or unsaturated. A saturated fatty acid contains only single bonds and does not contain double bonds and thus a show close packing and tight packing of the molecules. Example include palmitic acid, stearic acid, etc. The unsaturated fatty acid contains double or triple bonds and forms a bend or a kink in the molecule due to which the close packing is not possible. Example, oleic acid, linoleic acid, etc. Triglycerides, also known as triacylglycerols, are made of three fatty acid and a glycerol molecule. 
triglycerides are non-polar, hydrophobic in nature and are the major form of the storage lipid. An ester linkage is formed between the carboxyl group of the fatty acid and the hydroxyl group of the alcohol and thus it has no charge. A triacylglycerol containing saturated fatty acids are solid at room temperatures and are referred to as the fats. While those containing the unsaturated fatty acids are liquids at room temperature and are called oils. Waxes are the ester of long chain saturated or unsaturated fatty acid with long chain alcohols. They have high melting points. They are highly water repellent and have firm consistency. They are secreted by some skin glands of vertebrates, by preen glands of waterfowls making their feathers waterproof. They also cover the stem, leaves, fruits of various plants preventing evaporation and protection from parasites. Example includes trioctanyl palmitate which is a common component of beeswax and is a ester of palmitic acid with trioctanol. Phospholipids are amphibatic molecules. They are of two types a glycerophospholipid and a sphingophospholipid. Glycerophospholipid has a glycerol backbone, two fatty acids esterified at C1 and C2. C3 has a phosphate which in turn is attached to the various head groups like ethanolamine, serine, choline, etc. The fatty acid portions form the hydrophobic tails while the head group and the phosphate forms the hydrophilic head which gives the amphipathic nature to the molecule. Sphingolipids contain a long chain amino alcohol called sphingosine as the backbone. It has one fatty acid attached to it linked by the amide bond. Sphingomyelin is found in the nerve cell coverings is the common example. The head group is attached to the phosphate at the other carbon atom. Glycolipids. These are the lipids that contain carbohydrate attached by a glycosidic bond. They maintain the cell membrane stability and are involved in cellular recognition. They may contain monosaccharides or oligosaccharides bound to the lipid. They may be glycero or sphingolipids depending on glycerol or sphingosine as the backbone. The anomenic carbon of the sugar binds to the free hydroxyl group of the lipid backbone. Example includes galactolipid, sulfolipid, cerebroside and ganglucides. Steroids. These are biologically active organic compounds with four rings in a specific molecular configuration. The core structure has 17 carbon atoms as four fused rings. The three rings are six membered cyclohexane rings that is the A, B and C ring. And one is a five membered ring that is the cyclopentane ring that is the D ring. They may vary by the functional group attached to this four ring core and also the oxidation state of the rings. Example are corticosteroids, sex steroids, vitamin D forms etc. Cholesterol. It is a modified steroid. It is a sterol. It is amphipathic with the polar head group that is the hydroxyl at C3 and a non-polar hydrocarbon body that is the steroid nucleus and the hydrocarbon side chain at C17. It performs various functions in the cell like it is the precursor of steroid hormones, bile acids, vitamin D is a major component of animal cell membranes, works in intracellular transport in substrate presentation and signaling. Thank you.